Hey, what's up? Over the past few weeks of playing Sons of the Forest, I've started to wonder just exactly how armor works. I think it's pretty common knowledge that leaf armor is the worst and tech armor is the best, but there's three sets of armor somewhere in between, and then there's golden armor, which I've heard a ton of rumors about, and I was pretty surprised about how that set performs compared to the others. So stick around as I explain my experiment and the results and some of the interesting mechanics that I uncovered along the way. So let's begin. To start off, I wanted to establish some sort of a baseline using wooden spikes. I set up a row and ran into them with each set of armor and took notes on how much damage was done to each set. Interestingly, I found out that only the first time that you run into a spike will it injure you. Repeated attempts will not harm your armor or your health. Even if you run into other spikes and go back to that original spike, you're fine. I'm sure there's some sort of a cooldown for this, but I just wanted to share this finding with you. So I won't trouble you with listing off every single number from every single set of armor, but I did want to make some graphs to help illustrate the effectiveness of each type of armor. All of this was done on normal difficulty at strength level one on day one, which leaves me with exactly four bars of health. So this first graph here is for the test against the spikes. So it took me four hits to destroy a whole set of leaf armor, but 27 hits to destroy the full set of tech armor. And so this means that leaf armor roughly doubles your survivability and tech armor increases your survivability by more than nine times. The second test was for the heavy cannibal and he has a regular swing attack and a kick attack. And so I was able to determine that the kick does 60% of the damage that his swing does. And so here's the graph. It's basically the same as the spike test. The swing attack takes exactly two bars of health which is 50% at strength level one, so two hits will kill you. But wearing the tech armor, I could take an additional 17 hits before death, so a total of 19 hits. Going from two hits to die to 17 hits to die is a dramatic change. And now it's time to reveal how the golden armor did. In both the spike test and the cannibal test, it performed just as well as the unarmored character. It provided absolutely no reduction to incoming damage. However, the golden armor is said to perform well against demons, so I tested that out next. And I also tested the other armor types just for comparison purposes. The demon was a little difficult to test because he has a power attack which does about 1.5 HP bars of damage per hit, and his regular attack which does about 0.9 HP bars per hit. And so the results here vary slightly from the pattern that we saw previously due to his attack variations, but we do see just about the same results uh, with the tech armor increasing survivability by more than 11 times, taking a total of 37 hits to destroy the whole set. But what about the golden armor? So it actually performed about just as well as the tech armor did. It took 39 hits to kill the character. You just have to note that there's no damage actually done to the armor, the damage is done directly to your HP. So I had to do a little bit of calculation to kind of come up with like an average, like what's the average damage that the demon does to you. And if you factor in about a 40% rate of using a power attack, which is what I observed in my testing, that equals uh, about a total of 1.14 HP bars of damage per attack if you, you know, average that out over a large amount of attacks. And so when I was wearing the golden armor, it actually reduced this from 1.14 down to about 0.11. So about a 90% reduction in damage. But then on March 23rd, patch number two was released. And one of the balance changes in that patch was a nerf of golden armor, which now absorbs 70% of demonic damage instead of the 90% that we observed in this recording. So with this update to golden armor, I've redone the calculation. So instead of doing about 0.11 HP bars per attack, the demons are now going to be doing about 0.34 HP bars of damage per attack. And basically what that means is it's now going to take about 11 or 12 attacks for a demon to kill you while wearing the golden armor. And so here is the updated graph right here showing where gold used to be, which is actually I don't know, I guess really overpowered uh, according to the devs and then where it is now down pretty much on par exactly with bone armor. <laughs> this is a pretty epic nerf. And can we talk about how the demon tied me up underwater and why I'm not just sinking wearing golden armor? <laughs> 
Never mind. So the question now is, does the golden armor work against anything else? And the answer is really no. I tested this against you know, babies and fingers and cannibals and uh, I, there was just no difference, no benefit at all whatsoever versus being unarmored. So the next question I came up with was, is armor effectiveness influenced by strength? And the answer to that is also no. I've done some pretty thorough testing on strength in this video right here, so you can check that out if you want to learn more. But over the past week, I did manually level a character from strength level 1 to strength level 50, which took about five in-game days with a macro setup to pick up logs and throw them down non-stop for more than four hours. And I did this just in case editing the save game file, which is what I had done in my previous video, didn't actually properly level up the character. So I, I had redone all the testing. I was prepared to make a follow-up video, but there was no change. So there's no need to make any other videos on that. And so anyway, now I have an organically made level 50 character to do testing with. And so with this level 50 character, I donned a set of tech armor and fought against a heavy cannibal again. And according to my past test, I should expect the whole set of armor to be destroyed in 17 hits. And that is exactly what happened. Of course, uh, you get the extra four bars of HP, and so that equates to an extra two blows from his club before death. But in other words, strength had no effect on armor effectiveness, at least in this limited test. Now there's a whole bunch of other experiments you could do. You can try different sets of armor against different types of cannibals, against different mutants, against sharks. You know, you could do it at night, at, in the day, in the caves, not in the caves. You could do hungry, not hungry. I don't think any of that is going to make any difference, but I can't say with 100% certainty. Um, I think a lot of people gave credit to the game that was not necessarily due. I think that these systems are very much simplified, at least right now in early access. Maybe they will add some complexity to it later, but um, it's just, it's very, very simple right now. And so while I was at it, I figured, what the hell, let's try fall damage. And armor has no effect on that either. There were some comments in my strength video that said that strength reduces fall damage, so I tried that too. I jumped off the same cliff at strength level 1 and strength level 50, and took about the same damage from each fall, about 2.5 bars of HP in this case. Uh, you will note that if you're a strength level 50 character, that's a, a less of a percentage of your total health because you have the, you know, double the health of a strength level 1 character. But uh, in terms of like how many HP bars were lost, it's the same. And so here's my takeaway for you. Leaf armor is basically like having four extra bars of health and hide armor is like having an extra eight bars of health. Bone and creepy armor perform nearly the same with a slight edge going to creepy armor. And both are fairly good, about twice as good as hide armor and roughly equal to something like 15 extra bars of health or so. Tech armor is a huge leap forward, something like an extra 25 or 30 bars of HP with a full set. And gold armor is essentially worthless for anything other than fighting demons. Anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I hope that you found this information helpful. If you did, all you have to do is just leave me a like. It goes a long way. I really appreciate that. And you can subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more tests like this in Sons of the Forest in the future. I also have some other Sons of the Forest content on my channel if you're interested, including a Let's Play series, tips and tricks, some base building, and a video that goes over everything you need to know about strength. But otherwise, hopefully I'll catch you all in the next video. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.